in July of 2016, our pastor asked if we can build a cross for the platform. My first question was, is it going to stay up or is this a one-time use? He said it was going to be used continuously. I asked if he wanted rustic or a piece of furniture. He liked my iPad stand in curly maple and walnut, and he said, let's make it out of that. I asked how big, and he said he wanted one nine feet high. Wow. Okay. So I ordered the materials. We started milling and machining the curly maple and walnut. We resawed everything. Unfortunately, I don't have any video or photos of that, but we resawed all of these boards. And then we planed them, and then we ran them through the drum sander. So these boards are a quarter to three eighths of an inch thick. That meant that the cross is not going to be very heavy, but I wanted it to be strong. So I designed it like an airplane wing with bulkheads and a monocoque design. I cut the bulkheads out on the CNC. I had just finished building the CNC router. This was the first real job that I had for it other than cosmetics like the music symbols, inlay and carvings and plaques. So I did bulkheads for the vertical column and for the crossbar. After building the cross, I designed a better dust shoe, and it picks up most of the MDF dust and chips. We routed channels in the walnut to hold the curly maple on one side and walnut on the other. Once we got those boards finished, it was time to start working on the base. This needed to look like real rock, or as close as we could. Gotta make a freeform looking rock. Actually, I guess it's supposed to look like a natural rock. So I need some bent pieces. So this will be this side. And I'll, I'll do the other side very similar. Anyway. Just a curved 2 by 4 Didn't have to provide any structural integrity. The rest of this does that. That's the way that'll go. I used construction lumber for this part. The base came out pretty strong. Needed a way to lift it, so drill some holes to cut some hand slots in the back. The base ended up weighing 70 pounds. And the cross only weighs 35 pounds. You can see that I modified the base from the other photo just to give it a little bit more character. I just started building what I could, what I thought might look like a rock, just irregular shapes. I decided to resaw some 2 by material and use this to build out the rock. It's the only time I've ever resawn anything besides exotics and fine domestic woods. And this was kind of an ad hoc job. We smear it on whatever we could to make it look like rock.
sanded some portions down, added some places for more character. I put a subliminal message. How fitting would it be to have a depiction of the crucifixion leading to an empty tomb and have it on the rock that the cross was on? My sample rock was a piece of granite. I think we got pretty close. I moved the leveling feet for a lower profile on the rock. I cut thin strips for the monocoque design. Made sure all the bulkheads were square and use glue and pin nails to put them together. You can see the fit for the walnut pieces and the curly maple pieces and how they slide in. These are all floating panels, so they're not glued, and that way nothing should split as seasonal changes occur. There was a lot of testing for level and stability. It looks fairly complicated at the intersection of the pieces, but that's just the way it had to work out. I laid out the curly maple for orientation to get the best look for the figure and grain. The cross pieces are thinner than the vertical pieces, and that's why the slots don't line up. The miters came out real clean. Waited for the glue to dry. Ran everything through the drum sander for the final sanding. I hand cut the miters. I figured that would be more precise and a cleaner cut than using the miter saw or the table saw. Besides, these pieces were kind of long and they were hard to handle. I was pleased with how well these fit into place without binding. and the miters look pretty good. The end caps are MDF, and I glued walnut to those, and they press into place. So there's a shot in our kitchen with the cross and you can see that taking it out, we have less than an inch before it hits the ceiling. My son and his best friend helped carry it to the church where we set it up for Easter weekend 2017. There was no finish on the cross at this point, but it was in place for both the traditional and the modern worship services. We took it back home so that I could begin spraying the finish. I wanted to make sure that the curly maple would be level on the front 
And since they were different thicknesses, I used biscuits with some pieces of walnut so they would lock in together. And the curly maple looks great with finish on it. I sprayed it with nitrocellulose sanding sealer and gloss lacquer. Everything is finished at this point, so I wanted to make sure everything fit together as well. And it's just very pleasing to make this and have everything fit so precisely. We used miter joints on the curly maple side, but decided not to for the walnut side. And like I said, it only weighs 35 pounds, but it is a bit awkward to handle. It stayed up on the platform for about a year, and you can see it next to the iPad stand. And right now it resides in the front entrance of the church, with the walnut side showing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. I'd love to have you stick around.